guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to jump on today to show you a few projects that I've been creating using the new Maggie Holmes Garden Party Collection. I absolutely love this collection. It is so beautiful. There are so many gorgeous, bright colors and um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun creating with it. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys was I decided to create these pretty little sequin shaker tea bags inspired by Garden Party because there are a lot of like tea cups and, and teapots and cakes and it's sort of like a high tea themed um collection and that's what it reminds me of anyway so I thought why not create some cute little vellum sequin shaker tea bags and these are a bit different to how I've made my um, vellum tea bags in the past this time I decided to add some of the beautiful floral uh, paper from the 6x8 paper pad and um, stitch that onto the top piece of the vellum there just to give it something a little bit different and then I also stitched sort of the um, the tea bag part where the um, the tab for when you're dunking it and then I just added one of those pretty gold resin um, hearts which is also from the collection and then we just have a really pretty sequin mix inside, which I tried to um, incorporate all the different um, colours in the Garden Party collection. So you've got like your golds, your pinks, your mint greens, some blues, some yellow. Like there's just so many pretty colours in this collection. And yeah, I thought they turned out really cute. And I stitched them all with my sewing machine. And they actually took me quite a while to create these ones compared to how I usually do them. But um, I'm really happy with, with the outcome. And then I just ended up um, stitching some of this like thread as a part of the, um, the string. So what I ended up doing to create these tea bags was I ended up um, cutting out some vellum paper and folding it in half. Then I stitched down the sides and then I actually filled it with the sequin mix that way. And then I ended up creating these little pieces here and then I just stitched on this piece to seal in um, the sequins. And I just really wanted to use uh, the floral pattern. And they're really sturdy as well. Like really, really sturdy. They are so pretty. I absolutely love them. And I know it's going to be a little bit hard for the recipient to destroy these. <laughs> Um, they might want to keep them in their stash for a while and then eventually all they have to do is maybe just do like if they want to they could just do a little snip down the bottom of the tea bag to get the sequins out and then they could um, actually stitch it back up again if they wanted to or refill it with sequins or whatever they like really. So those are the tea bags. Just pop them aside. And then next I ended up creating some of those little pretty pink uh, friendship pins, which is something that I used to make back in the 80s when I was a kid. And I've made these in the past before, but 
using some like Jen Hadfield gold pins and I thought of the idea about over a month ago I thought why not try and find some pretty pink uh, pins online and I found these pink ones and they're from AliExpress and I did think they were going to be a lot bigger when I purchased them but they're actually quite a nice size even though they're a lot smaller than what I thought they were going to be. Um, yeah, I'm still happy with them. I was still able to use them. So I just um, found whatever beads I had in my stash. And I tried to um, use, again, like I said, all the colours that are sort of garden party inspired. So you've got your greens in there. You've got a few little like seed beads and some little like polymer clay beads. We've got some with like little hearts and things on them. So lots of the beautiful mint greens in there with the pink. I did some like pearly sort of colored ones. Some stripy ones. I added some gold as well because, you know, Garden Party has those gold elements to it. And, yeah, I just love how these turned out. They are so pretty. So I've got more of those pink pins coming on their way from AliExpress and I think I also purchased some of the mint green ones as well so I can create some mint green ones. So I'll leave the link down below for these um, pink safety pins for every for anyone that's you know wanting to um, grab some themselves and create their own little friendship pins. And the last project I have to show you is a nice big giant acetate uh, envelope. So I'll just move these out of the way for a bit. There we go. I thought it turned out so pretty. So I had some of this acetate in my stash. It's not from Garden Party. Um, I'm just trying to think of where it's from. It's from one of the older, like an older collection, this acetate. And I thought I'd decorate it up with um, some of the chipboard from the Garden Party chipboards. And this big giant piece here is actually really hard to use. And then when I was creating this envelope, I was like, no, nope, I'm going to use this big giant chipboard piece because otherwise I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> it's such a huge piece, but making this a giant envelope, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great use for it. And I ended up um, adding a little green sort of floral eyelet there and then added one of my own wire wrapped beads, which I made. A pretty pink tassel and this cute little rainbow charm. And I've just filled it up full of um, embellishments, which you guys have seen in um, one of my previous garden party uh, videos. So, yeah, really happy with how that turned out. I added a couple of bling stickers on there. No, but it's really nice and colourful. And then, you, as you guys can see, um, yeah, it just opens up like a normal envelope. And then I've just got some um, pretty, like, embellishments inside. So there's my projects. I'm going to have to try and um, 
glue this down with my hot glue gun I think because using acetate it doesn't stick very well so every now and then it tries to pop pop off a little bit so yeah I'm going to be um, adhering it down with some of my hot glue just to keep it down and I might even add a couple of like a velcro dot as well to keep it um, closed over but just having those like dangly charms there makes it you know sort of a little bit heavy so it will kind of just sit in a position you know where I like it so yeah very happy with how all these turned out and yeah I just wanted to jump on and and show you guys what I made I'll just pop these there so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and all these projects that i created and um yeah i hope you all have a wonderful day thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and um yeah feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions or you just enjoy watching my videos take care guys bye